channel everybody. Today we're going to be doing something a little differently. In this video, we will be discussing an essential tactical tool, the Karambit. We will be reviewing the CRKT Provoke Kinematic Karambit. Stick around to learn all the practical uses of a Karambit in general and some specifications and what we like about the CRKT Karambit. First things first, let's talk about what a Karambit is because you can already tell by looking at it, this is not your normal folding knife. Karambits are curved, claw-like utility and fighting knives based on ancient Southeast Asian designs. Karambit knives have been used for centuries for everything from hunting to combat. The ancestor of the modern Karambit first appeared in Indonesia during the 11th century as a farming tool and utility blade. Indonesia had a thriving trade industry at the time, so the rapid spread of the Karambit throughout Southeast Asia and other countries was inevitable. Karambits are best known for their precision and versatility, and they're great for just about any kind of cutting. When it comes to self-defense, some people believe a curved blade is ideal because it gives you the flexibility to strike from multiple angles and move quickly while maintaining full control of the blade. Now that we've talked a little bit about the background of Karambits in general, let's dive into the CRKT Provoke Kinematic. CRKT has done a great job at making a sharp, durable, and aesthetically pleasing Karambit. This is the first Karambit ever to feature their kinematic technology. This allows the blade to stay neatly tucked away, safe in transit, and the ability to spring to life instantly when you need it. To open the blade, all you have to do is grip the karambit and push down on this part to deploy the blade. Closing the blade is also very easy. You just push down on this tab right here and it folds right back up. The blade is constructed out of D2 steel with a titanium nitride finish. It is roughly 2.41 inches in length and around 0.21 inches thick. The handle is constructed out of 6061 T6 aluminum making this a very durable knife all around. The D2 steel they use to make this blade gives it excellent edge retention and the finish they put on it gives this blade corrosion resistance. The entire karambit weighs 6.1 ounces with an overall length of 7.25 inches when opened and 4.36 when closed. The blade has this pocket clip that's almost completely flush with the handle, which is a really nice feature to see on a knife like this. They also make a belt sheath that allows you to secure your karambit to either your battle belt or your chest rig or something, keeping it secure and locked in there until you need it. One of the main benefits of a karambit over your traditional folding knife like the Smith & Wesson here is that a karambit offers user safety in almost any condition, whether your hands are wet, dirty, or even underwater. Due to the unique design of the grip and the safety ring, the chance of you losing this weapon when using it properly in a combat situation to either disarmament or dropping it is very unlikely due to its design. I personally love the kinematic feature that this knife has. It's extremely fast to deploy, faster than your folding knife, and it's quicker to be used due to the fact that you don't need to change your fighting grip at all when you're deploying it. Overall, this knife is a fantastic EDC option if you're looking for a more unique and versatile option than a standard folding knife. The many use cases, the compact size of it, and it's very lightweight, make for a really good tactical tool. That's all we have for this one, everyone. If you enjoyed seeing the switch up in content, let us know in the comments what you would like to see next. We're always looking to try new things out and give you an honest opinion on a product before you purchase it. If you aren't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we post new content. Thank you for watching, everybody. And as always, stay safe and have fun shooting.